Oh, and the ingredient in throat coat tea that I was thinking of, I think most of it does have echinacea. <laughs> Certainly not euthanasia. That's different. <laughs> right. Uh, the ingredient that coats your throat is slippery elm. Mm -hmm. So if you're a week behind us and you have the man flu or the consumption yeah. now, <laughs> um, yeah, Thayer's slippery elm lozenges mm -hmm. are just great for keeping your throat what uh lubricated slippery, slippery. yeah slippery elm <laughs> yeah. That, maybe that's why they call it uh-huh that the funny thing is we made this realization of what you were trying to say while watching an episode of family guy yeah <laughs> yeah yep. they were doing a boston tea party cutaway and they were talking about the different teas mm -hmm. and one said oh but it's got echinacea in it don't get rid of that one yeah oh don't get rid of the earl gray <laughs> we have to have breakfast <laughs> oh don't get rid of the chamomile it helps me sleep <laughs> Right. Yeah, right. Well, and honestly, I get it because I love tea. Uh, have you ever tried Vicks on the feet? You know, I actually did do that once a while ago. And was it effective? You like you rub Vicks on your feet and then mm -hmm. put on socks and then go to sleep. Well, it was effective in the sense that it did make me feel better, but I can't sleep with socks on. Okay. So I could not sleep because my feet were constricted by um, actual boa constrictors. <laughs> and I thought I was being eaten alive. Uh -huh. So there was no sleep to be had with that until I finally kicked them off and just let them dry out. And that was fine. Okay. It, it, to <laughs> me that, you know, I hate sticky hands. Mm -hmm. And I really don't like a lot of oily, greasy stuff unless it's like a hamburger that I can manage in one sitting and then right. wash my hands and be mm -hmm. done with it, be cleansed of it. Yes. Yeah. I mean, I can't imagine walking to the bathroom in the middle of the night um, just going squish, squish, squish. <laughs> oh, if you think that's bad. Yeah. So – I think, I mean, you know how I do those peeling foot masks some, sometimes when my heels are really mm -hmm. like cracking and bad. Uh, so those things you have to wear for like an hour, two hours, something like that. I remember you talked me into one once and I was like. Oh yeah. And you were done with it in like 10 minutes. I just, this <laughs> creates more problems than it solves. Right, right. But yeah. you were saying your your Mexican likes Vicks. Yes, as a matter of fact, it's kind of a big thing in in uh, Mexican culture. Really, like there's lots of jokes on TikTok. Uh, so here's the thing: I experienced it firsthand through my Mexican and his family. But then I saw all of these memes on TikTok and realized it was kind of a bigger thing than that. They put it on everything. Everything. Like um, like Windex in my, my big fat Greek wedding. <laughs> right, right. Like Greeks like, and Windex. Like you get a stab wound and, you're, and your Mexican mom's like, put some fix on it. You'll feel fine. Re okay. All right. <laughs> my childhood equivalent of that was rub some dirt in it, kid. Yeah, I definitely got that a couple of times too. <laughs> Which also, ew. And no. And that's not how any of this works. Sort of a Pierce Brosnan follow-up from, again, my friend Kev, mm. the most interesting man in the world. Don't tell me he's met him. No, he has okay. not. But he said, do you remember the story? I guess, okay, uh, let me get this up here. Three guys mm. were hiking in Yellowstone <clears throat> with a pan or a pot and a chicken. And, and, and what it, they, were, they were planning to go to a hot pot and literally cook a chicken in the hot pot. Well, they were uh, spotted by a park ranger and um, arrested and banned from the park. Mm -hmm. In fact, we have their names. It's <laughs> Oh, this is a New York Times article, by the way. I will say, first of all, though, the sense of humor on these guys. <laughs> like, and, and they seem like they'd be fun at parties. <laughs> this was in 2020. So, I mean, I, maybe they were trying to make a TikTok video or something. <laughs> mm -hmm. Eric Romrell and Eric Roberts of Idaho. And Dallas Funny. Roberts of Utah. I mean, honestly, though, here's here's the thing. Only <laughs> Idahoans and Utahns would have the foresight to understand how hot the, the things are to the point where they would want to touch degrees, them. 400 degrees, by the way. Yeah, they wouldn't want to touch them, but they would risk cooking a chicken on them. <laughs> now, here's the thing. I just want to know the conversation that happened before. <laughs> you know what we should do. <laughs> okay, but here's the thing. All they needed was for the third guy to have a stick and a string. Yeah. And then there would have been no problem. Uh-huh. Well, okay. There would have been a problem, and here's why. Why? A pokes, a, a, a pokes, a park spokeswoman says, by the way, um, it's illegal to touch or throw objects into the hot springs or other hydrothermal features at the park. Mm -hmm. It's illegal to go off the boardwalk and designated trails, a la what Pierce Brosnan right. is what um, charged Had Allegedly with. did. Right, and January twenty yeah. third, mm -hmm. he appears in uh, yeah in, later in Jackson, this week. Right, yeah. Okay, but here's the thing: 
Now, it's illegal to touch it or throw things in it. But there's no rule about cooking chicken over it. So long as nothing falls in. It, if you have to go over the trail, though. The, I mean, and, it, no, just maybe their you stick. got a 10-foot pole. That's what I'm saying. If just their stick with their pot and their chicken goes over. Yeah. Then they haven't thrown anything in it. Yeah. They haven't touched it. That would And they're on the boardwalk. Quite the feat of strength, I think. I mean, not, I mean Could you hold pot? a 10-foot pole over a hot springs? Long enough to steam a chicken. <laughs> Let's find out, Carly. Let's go to Yellowstone and try. It. You know what? If I- you're so confident in this idea. Okay, here's the thing. I'm just saying that if I were their lawyer, I'd be like, Your Honor, they did nothing wrong. 